PSLE 2020 Mathematics Paper 1 Booklet A Total time for Booklet A and B is 1 hour Therefore, Booklet A will take 30 minutes Question 1 Which of the follow following is 35,000 and 20? It gives you zero two zero. That is answer number two. Question two. Round six point seven eight five to two decimal places. Two decimal places is this two. Therefore, this is more or equals to five. That makes eight to be round up to nine. Six point seven nine is the answer. Question number three. Which line in the square grid is parallel to AF? This is AF. As you can see, the slope of C and D is the same. Therefore, C and D is the answer. Question number four. The diagram shows a bookshelf in a school library. Which of the following could be the height of the bookshelf? 1 cm is too short, 5 cm is too short, so it could be 1 meter to 5 meter. As you can see that this is the height of 3 books, 1 books, 2 books, 3 books, therefore 1 meter will be the answer. This is wrong. Question number 5. PQ and RS are straight lines. PQ and RS are straight lines. Which of the following is true? Angle A equals to angle C. That's not right. Angle B equals to angle D. That is correct. Let's check the rest. Angle A plus angle D equals to 180. No, it is less than 180. Angle A plus angle C equals to 180. No, it's more than 180. Therefore, this is the answer. Question number six. In the number line, what is the mixed number represented by A? So here we have one, two, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have a 1 here. So it's 1, 5, 8. This is the answer. Question 7. Each figure is made up of 5 identical squares. Which one has a line of symmetry? You can't find for this. 2 will be very close unless it has here and you remove this then here but this is not what we are looking for therefore this is not you can't find for this and yes number 4 is the answer Question 8. PQRS is a square. PQRS is a square. So all these are same length. PQ equals to PT. So the triangle inside is an isosceles triangle. Find angle TPQ. TPQ. We want to find this angle here. And we know for a square... This angle is 90 degree, therefore, this angle PQT, angle PQT equals to angle PTQ. This and this is the same angle because it's an isosceles is equals 90 degree minus 23 degree 
you will get 67 degrees so angle T B Q equals 180 degree minus 2 times 67 degrees equals 180 minus 134 you get 46 this is the answer Question number 9. Mr. Lim had $50. had $50. After buying 4 identical ties, he has X dollar left. How much did Mr. Lim pay for each tie? So we have $50 minus X dollar is the number of dollars he paid for all 4 ties. Divided by 4 is each tie. So this is the answer. Question 10. Arrange these distances from the shortest to the longest. 1.25 km is 1 km 250 meter. So you have 1 km 205 meter here. 2 fifths of a kilometer is 2 fifths of a kilometer is times 1000 meter equals to be. 400 meter therefore this is 1 kilometer 400 meter shortest to the longest shortest second shortest and this is the longest so 1 point 1 kilometer 205 meter followed by 1.25 followed by 1 to fifth so this is the answer. Question number 11. The television guide shown one program leads to another without any break, without any break in between. So you have cartoon, music, sports news. How much longer is music than the sports program? So music program will be from 10 10 a.m. to 11 30 a.m. So we know 10 10 to 11 10 is 60 minutes. 11 10 to 11 30 is 20 minutes. Therefore, you have 80 minutes. Sports is from 11.30 to 12.20 and we know that 11.30 to 12.30 is 60 minutes so this is 10 minutes less than 60 minutes you have 50 minutes So how much longer is music to sports? Music is 80 minutes. Sports is 50 minutes. You get 30 minutes. Question 12. A group of children was asked to choose one fruit from apple, mango, orange, and pear. The table represents the children's choices. The children's choices were also represented by a bar graph, but the names of the fruits were not shown. What was the total number of children who choose apple and orange? Total number of children who choose apple and orange. So we have number of children here. This is 8, this is 16, increment of 4, 12, this is 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. So we have 36 here. And we know that apple is 10%, mango 20%, orange 25%, pear 45%, smallest to largest. 
apple, mango, orange, and pear. So you see here, smallest to largest. And we want apple and orange. Apple is this, orange is this. You have 8 plus 20, it gives you 28 number of children. Question 13. Figure 1 shows a rectangular tile with a parameter of 14 cm. Figure 1, 14 cm. Figure 2 is formed using 5 such tile. Find the parameter of figure 2. We know figure 2 is formed out of 5 such tile. Therefore, we need to subtract 2 of this length, 2 of this length, 2 of this length, 2 of this length. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4, which gives us a total number of 2 rectangular tile, right? 1, 2, 3. Three, four, one, two, three, four. And then here is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Total parameter will be five minus two times fourteen. Plus three times fourteen. Question 14. A, a florist had some roses and tulips. She sold one third of the roses and four ninth of the tulips. Seven out of eleven of the flowers sold were roses. What fraction of the flowers did the florist sell? So we know she sold one third of the roses and four nine of the tulips and seven out of eleven were roses what fraction of the flowers did the florist sell so we need to find the total number of flowers we first find what is given one third of roses is sold. How about tulips? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, Three, four, four ninth of the tulips so and if all these are total number of flowers So, if this is so, 7 out of 11 is so, 4 out of 11 must be tulips. So, if 1 third of roses equals to be 7, roses, total number of roses must be 7, multiplied by 3 over 1, gives you 21. So if 4 9 of tulips goes to be 4, total number of tulips equals 4 multiplied by 9 over 4. This gives you 9. Total number of flowers 
therefore is 21 plus 9 goes with 30. So fraction of sole sole over total is 11 over 30. This is the answer. Question number 15. The pupils at the camp were divided into group A and group B. The ratio of the number of boys to girls in group A is 5 to 4. The ratio of the number of boys to girls in group B is 5 to 1. There are three times as many pupils in group B as in group A. Which of the following could be the total number of boys in both groups? So, group A, one unit. If a ratio of 5 is to 4. Group B, one unit. A ratio of 5 is to 1. And it has three times more than group A. So we have 5 is to 1, 5 is to 1. But the least number of group A will be 5 boys plus 4 girls, which gives you 9. Group B is 5 boys plus 1 girl, it gives you 6. So the one unit doesn't match up. So the least common multiplier for 6 and 9 is 18. 6 times 3 is 18. 9 times 2 is 18. Therefore, you have 5 is to 4 times 2. You have 10 is to 8. And here you have 15 to 3 times 3 you have 45 is to 9 so you want the total number of boys in both groups 10 plus 45 equals 55 therefore this is the answer That's the last question for booklet A.